Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. Now we know lots of people have got the Oculus Go during Christmas. Some people even got multiple Oculus Go's in the one family, so maybe sort of a partner and a wife or a husband or a child or whatever. And they're off and about and they're doing all sorts of things. And one of the few bits of feedback I've come again and the questions I've been getting is, you know, can I watch something, say in Netflix, with somebody else? Well, not directly in the Netflix app, but there is Oculus Parties. And if you put yourself in a party, you can be chatting to that person while you're doing anything on the Oculus Go. So in this video, we're gonna quickly jump into an Oculus Party with Mrs. Ramarcus. She's upstairs on her own Oculus Go. We could jump into Netflix and watch it together, essentially. So it's not technically sort of built in into Netflix, but it's still possible. So I'll show you how in the video now. All right, so we're on our Oculus home here now. Down below, if we go to, uh, oh no, no, don't listen to me, Oculus. Shh, cancel. <laughs> it's got voice controls and it heard me. So if we go down to people, go down to friends, what you can do is find a friend. So you add each other on your Oculus Go app. So if you go to your app, you go to friends, you can add people in there so you can search them by their Oculus name or by their email, and they'll be in here. So Magpie Unicorn is my other half. If we click add, she should hopefully get a little pop-up appear, and then she should, in the same sort of menu here, go to requests and accept it and jump in. And if we kind of turn the volume up, hopefully, she's upstairs and she's waiting for me. Oh, that sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? But you know what I mean. She's uh, waiting for my invite to the party so we can watch some Netflix together. And there we go, there's Magpie Unicorn. Hello? Can Hello. You... Oh, she can hear me, there she is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> How you doing, honey, you upstairs? I said, I said to the yeah. people that you're waiting for me. That, that came out a bit wrong. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> now it sounds quite good. We're on the same Wi-Fi network, so the quality is quite good. But you could be like anywhere in the world, essentially, in an, in a in a party here, and then you can browse in separately or together. Now, if we both jump into Netflix, so we're going to jump into my library, open up my Netflix. Magpie Unicorn is going to do the same. And what you essentially do, you don't get sort of the built-in sort of party features uh, within Netflix to be able to have somebody sat next to a sofa on the sofa with you. Uh, but you know, she's in my head, so she's here. So I can click on my profile here to jump in. We can find something the mutual that we want to watch. Uh, what do you fancy watching? What have you got on your screen? That'll make it easy. Hang on, nothing yet. Still loading. Oh, still loading. So a little wait. I guess, tell you what, the, the great thing about the uh, Netflix app on the Oculus Go is it doesn't automatically play programs. Like, they don't automatically come up with the trailers. That does my head in on the uh, TV. You click on something to look at it, just to see the, read the title or uh, the little bl bit of blurb, and it starts yapping on about what it is. <coughs> it's not even the actual trailer for the program. Yeah, I mean, what do you want to watch? Okay, should we watch, <laughs> well, should we watch Bird Box? Let's click on Bird Box. We've already watched this, but let's watch it anyway. So what I would suggest everyone does to kind of sync it up together is press play whenever, jump into it. But once you're in and ready, pause it. So down the bottom, click on pause, rewind it to the start. Just by kind of actually grabbing this little red dot and dragging it. There we go. And then yeah, I'm ready. either bottom left or in the middle of your screen, you do a little countdown. So on three, you press play. One, two, three, and there we go. We're watching it together at the same time. So we can watch it uh, wherever we are in the world together. Now we're not in the same room together, sat on the couch, but what difference does that really make? And now we can watch this. Um, what I would suggest is you put your Oculus Go controller down and don't touch it, because it's very temperamental. Any touches or nudges can pause it, because it thinks you're doing something. If you take the headset off, it's gonna pause it. And you have to do some resyncing of some sort, but it works. But are you uh, seeing the the helicopter going over the the river? Yeah. Yeah. So now we can chat away while we're watching. What I would say as well is, if you want to use the void mode, which is up the top left-hand corner, do that before you start watching. Otherwise, it can. Uh, I'll see if you try and do it while you're watching, you'll get out of sync because it'll pause and stuff like that. So make sure you do that first. But, but we've watched Bird Box, it's quite a good film, wasn't it? I think we enjoyed this, didn't we? It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. we liked it. Yeah. yeah. I think we, I, I thought there was going to be a different ending, but it turned out to be a different ending again. So, spoilers. Oh, I, I won't go spoilers. No, no spoilers. No spoilers for me. 
But you can use this party feature through all of Oculus Go. So in any app, any game, um, if you end up sort of in Oculus Rooms or any other media app, you can be sat there chatting together and you just do the same process. Click start together, it can be a movie that you've loaded onto both the headsets separately, uh, whatever, and you know, watch them together in essence. So it's not perfect, but it works. Um, Netflix could probably be better than what it is. The full quality is not amazing, but it's perfectly watchable. There are ways of making it better, and I'll cover that in another video soon. But uh, I think we'll uh, end that one there. So if you want to get out your Oculus Party, all you just need to do is press your, your Oculus Menu button, Home button. And if you want to say goodbye, we'll kick you out. Bye. <laughs> oh, wrong button. People, parties. And you can have up to four people or something in a party. And then, what you can do actually here, you can actually mute people if they're getting too noisy or just hang up on them. And I didn't even say goodbye. That was a bit mean, wasn't it? Ah, oh, terrible. So there we go. That's Netflix and a social experience. You can do that, as I say, across all of Oculus Go. So you're not restricted to just this app or anything else. You can just be on the dashboard. You can be in different games. You don't have to be watching the same program. You can be doing anything. So, you know, you, you can, in theory, watch everything together. All you've got to do is kind of just literally count down to whatever you're watching. As I say, pause it, give it a little countdown, press play, and then go with it. You know, and it, and it works really well. And I think the party feature in the Oculus Go is something maybe people aren't aware of. Um, and it does add a lot of features, a lot of sort of value to the Oculus Go. So definitely worth checking out, especially if you've got sort of members of your family or friends or whatever in different places. You've seen those adverts on TV where they're sat down, they're watching different films or, or they're watching the same film and they're watching the same sort of thing together. Now, not that, not that a lot of those experiences actually natively work in that sort of environment. So it's nice that you can actually still do it with an Oculus Party. So uh, let me know in the comments down below, have you tried Oculus Parties? Do you think this will help? Do you think you'll get some use out of it? Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously it'd be nice if some of the apps had this natively built in, but this does allow you to kind of go off and do whatever you want to do as well, while still sort of chatting with each other. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine, I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know why you didn't like it. I'll try to do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when the next upload a video. And that's me done, I'm out. A virtual high five. <laughs>